Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all integers n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. Now, let's first remind ourselves of our definition of non-negative integer exponents. Let a be any real number. For each non-negative integer n, we define a to the power of n to be a real number, recursively as follows. a to the power of 0 is going to be equal to 1, and a to the power of n plus 1 is going to be equal to a to the power of n times a for every non-negative integer n. Now, to talk about negative integer exponents, we are going to be using the concept of the reciprocal of a non-zero real number. Now, a common notation used to refer to the reciprocal of a non-zero real number is with a superscript of negative 1. But well, since we're about to define negative integer exponents, we're essentially going to be defining this notation again. So, for now, let's temporarily use the notation hashtag a to refer to the reciprocal of a non-zero real number a. If you recall, the definition of the reciprocal of a non-zero real number is as follows. Let a be a non-zero real number. Then the unique real number x with the property that a times x is equal to 1 is denoted by hashtag a. Right, so that's the reciprocal of a non-zero real number a. Now from here, we define negative integer exponents. Let a be a non-zero real number. Then for each negative integer n, we define a to the power of n to be equal to the reciprocal of a to the power of negative n. So since a is a non-zero real number, the reciprocal of a is a real number. Since n is a negative integer, it follows that negative n is a positive integer. And this makes sense because we're able to take any real number, raise it to the power of a positive integer according to our definition for non-negative integer exponents. So a to the power of n is defined to be a real number here. Now, from here, we can show that the reciprocal of a is equal to a with an integer exponent of negative 1. And to see how that happens, well, according to the definition, a with an integer exponent of negative 1 is equal to the reciprocal of a to the power of negative of negative 1. But then the negative of negative 1 is just 1. But then according to our definition for non-negative integer exponents, you could verify any real number to the power of 1 is equal to itself. Right? And the way that we could show this, we could view the exponent of 1 as 0 plus 1. So as you can see, we're in a position to apply the second part of the definition. Right? We're taking n to be 0 here. Well, then in that case, the reciprocal of a to the power of 0 plus 1 is just the reciprocal of a to the power of 0 times the reciprocal of a. But according to the first part of the definition, any real number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this is just 1 times the reciprocal of a, which is equal to the reciprocal of a. And that's it. As you can see, a with an integer exponent of negative 1 is the reciprocal of a. So, we can continue using the same notation, this, the same usual common notation for the reciprocal, right? If we can use a with a superscript of negative 1. So, we can rewrite this as a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of negative 1 to the power of negative n. We can interpret the a to the power of negative 1 as a with an integer exponent of negative 1, or we could interpret it as the reciprocal of a. They're both the same thing. So now, let's get into proving this theorem. To start out, we are first going to prove for every non-negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. And we're going to prove that by induction. So let's start with the base case. 
In the base case, we're trying to establish 1 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, but that's just true by definition. Any real number to the power of 0 is equal to 1, according to our definition of non-negative integer exponents. So that's the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary non-negative integer n, and we assume 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. The whole goal of the inductance step is to establish 1 to the power of n plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, according to the second part of our definition for non-negative integer exponents, 1 to the power of n plus 1 is equal to 1 to the power of n times 1. Well then, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1 by our induction hypothesis, so this is just 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. So we see that 1 to the power of n plus 1 is equal to 1, and so we're done. This completes the induction step. So this closes the induction. By mathematical induction, we have proven for every non-negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. And now we are going to establish for every negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. So let's give ourselves an arbitrary negative integer n. Well then, 1 to the power of n, by definition of negative integer exponents, is equal to the reciprocal of 1 to the power of negative n. But the thing is, the reciprocal of 1 is just equal to 1 itself. And the way you can show that is by noting, if we take any real number, multiply it by 1, that doesn't change it. So these guys are equal. But then, by definition of the reciprocal, 1 times the reciprocal of 1 gives us 1. So this is 1 to the power of negative n. As you can see, we see the reciprocal of 1 is in fact equal to 1, right? That's pretty much what we've established here. But really, we are now doing 1 to the power of a positive integer. Well, we've shown 1 to the power of any non-negative integer is 1, so 1 to the power of the positive integer negative n must be 1. And that's it. We've established 1 to the power of n is equal to 1 for an arbitrary negative integer n. So for every negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. So we've established for every non-negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1, and for every negative integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. Therefore, we've proven for every integer n, 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. So that proves the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.